It is rainy and cloudy, but we are going to push through because I am in search for these Dollar Tree window clings. They bring them every season, and these fall ones are so beautiful. I brought one of each, and they come back to back. So they come two in each pack, and they have beautiful designs. If you don't have a cutting machine or a uh, rub-on transfers, these are a great alternative. For the first Dollar Tree DIY craft, I'm going to start with these beads. I have these on hand, and I do have them. On my Amazon store you can also find a smaller ones at Dollar Tree which could work as well I'm gonna use a stitching needle as well as some white jute string and I'm just gonna start stringing some of the beads I'm gonna create my own pattern but you can use any pattern you want or you can just use all natural wood or white whatever you have on hand is absolutely fine I'm just gonna do it enough where I can see kind of like that I like when it loops because we're gonna create a nice little decor piece that we can hang on either a doorknob or anywhere in your home these wood slices I do get on Amazon and I do also have on my Amazon store if you want to take a look at them. I sanded it down very lightly and wiped it really well because I want to make sure there's no dust. I'm going to use some Mod Podge and this is the matte kind and I'm just going to apply one thick layer and then pick this beautiful pumpkin from one of the window cling designs and just place it right on top. The key to this is to make sure that you flatten out any bubbles that you see as much as possible. You don't have to have it perfect. All right, so then we're just going to place one more layer of the Mod Podge and let that dry. I'm going to take some ribbon here. This is from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut. It's maybe about nine, eight inches long. I'm going to cut in two of them and then some of this uh, lacy jute type. And again, we're just going to cut it. And then we're just going to tie the uh, garland. And then we're just going to place the ribbon right on the bottom and then just tie it right in the center. And that way we're going to create kind of, kind of like a little lacy bow uh, with no bow, I guess. I'm going to cut off the excess just to make sure they're all about the same size. I'm going to take my drill and I'm going to drill a hole on the top of the wood slice and this is what we're going to attach the bead garland to. And we're just about done but I do want to add a small little flower. These are from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue and just place it right there right in the center. It'll cover everything up and really brought everything together this is probably my favorite but let me tell you it is hard to choose i love this one This next Dollar Tree DIY craft is so fun. So recently I found these mason jar cups. They come with lids and matching straws and they come in these three designs. I grab one of each. Now I am going to remove the straw, but we're keeping the lids. For each jar, we're gonna create kind of like a similar but different design. I'm gonna start with this yellow potted flowers from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna remove the flower and I'm just gonna place it right inside the clear one. For the teal one, I'm going to do something similar, but except this one's going to be more of a burgundy color. I'm going to place it white inside. And then for the orange one, I'm going to keep a white one right inside. This is one I had on hand. Once I had them in place, look how beautiful they look. I'm going to uh, put the lids back on. I do have to end up removing them here in just a bit, but just to show you how things are looking. This window cling, again, is just another one with beautiful designs. I'm going to take this design right here and just place it. Now, because these are meant for windows, they stick perfectly on the glass from each jar. So I'm just going to place one in front of each jar. If you have not heard, I recently released my very first online course, and it's all about learning how to use power tools in your crafting and also how to integrate them into your crafting. If you want to join this course, I have the link down below in the description box. All right, so I'm going to place this last one. Isn't this one gorgeous? I love this pumpkin. Okay, so they stuck really well. Now I'm going to take some stems. I keep a bag of stems. These are all from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to pick three of them, similar in size, but they have different shapes and color. Here's when I remove the lids. I just want to place a little bit of masking tape inside each lid because I want to hot glue the stems right on top to create kind of like pumpkins, and I want to have it so where it's not dripping a hot glue in, on the flower that way if in the future I want to reuse them. So I'm just going to place one stem on top of each jar and a little bit of hot glue goes a long way. I wanted to add a little bit of bow on uh, the stem area, but because everything else is so colorful and there is already so much design, I'm going to keep the bow very simple and very neutral. And I'm just going to make a multiple loop bow using jute string 
tie it in the center, and then hot glue it at the bottom of each stem. And the way I do it, I just use my four fingers as my guide, wrap the juicing around several times, again, tie it in the center, and that's it. Just hot glue one in each front. And we're just about done. Look how gorgeous these are. I told you I cannot pick a favorite. I love all of them, but I'd love to know what you think of this one. For the next Dollar Tree DIY craft, I'm gonna take this wooden plaque. You can find these at Dollar Tree in all shapes. I'm telling you, they're so versatile and so fun to work with. I removed the sticker and we're just going to give it one coat of Waverly Chalk Pin in the white and I'm going to do the front and the Now this part is completely optional but I am going to sand down the edges because I do like that shape and the beveled edges that it has so I want that to stand out. So I'm just going to sand it and then wipe it really well. Again we want no dust on this one. I'm going to add some Mod Podge, liberally add Mod Podge, and I'm just going to do the entire top. And then once it's completely covered, I'm going to take another one of these deep, beautiful designs. This one is large. I'm going to place it right in the center. Now it does overlap a bit, and that's okay because we are going to trim it in just a bit. My friends, I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And I always have those links down below in the description box. So when you are done watching, make sure you go there and check them out. I am now going to add a top layer of Mod Podge, again, just to seal everything and make sure it's not going to go anywhere. And then once I apply it, I just put it to the side and let it dry. Look how beautiful that looks. I want to be able to hang this one. So I'm going to take one of those bead garlands from Dollar Tree that I mentioned earlier. And I am going to just use one that I had left over from a previous project. This is exactly how many I had left, so I'm just going to use them. I'm going to make sure that the beads actually land on top of the wood piece and not behind it. I'm just going to hot glue each string. Add a little bit of masking tape. This is just going to secure it in place, make it look nice and clean. And I did the same thing on the other side. And I got to tell you, this one is a surprising favorite of mine. I think what I like is the simplicity of it, how clean it is, how gorgeous it is. You can keep adding whatever you want. You can add greenery on top, florals on top, whatever you want. I think it's gorgeous. For this next DIY craft, I'm going to take this mirror. You can find these at Dollar Tree year round in the kind of like the picture frame area. I'm going to take a piece of craft paper and I'm just going to kind of shape it into the circular motion there. And I'm just going to cut it and then tape it just to make sure that not a lot of paint gets on the glass. And also to cover my face because I don't want to distract you from looking at my face. All right, so I'm going to paint the entire thing in the Waverly Moss color and I'm going to do two coats. And you can use any color you want. White was one that I was really wanting to do. Or maybe even a burnt orange. That'd be beautiful. There I am. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take a wet wipe. And I'm just going to remove the excess paint. It did not take much effort. It cleaned very well. But one thing you want to do is make sure that you dry it well. So once it's removed, just dry it with a towel. And then we're going to pick this beautiful design. And place it right there in the center. I love this one. It's so pretty. I'm going to take a small little garland that I had on hand. But you can use any greenery you have. I'm going to open it up. Just so that it fits around the uh, mirror circle. And I'm hot gluing it in place. My friends, I would love for you to join my email list. I have that link down below in the description box. I email once a week with updates on uploads as well as any new news. So if you want to join, check it out. It is linked below. All right, these little tiny burnt orange or maybe like a reddish color flowers are from Dollar Tree. I'm going to hot glue several of them right around that rim just to make that greenery just fuller. And it really pulls from that design in the middle. It just kind of brings everything together. Now for the top, I thought about bringing these bows. These you can find at Dollar Tree currently. I like that they're already made for you and they're actually really pretty. I like them. They're a little too bulky on the bottom. So I'm just going to cut off the legs and then just going to hot glue it right on top. This really pulled everything together. I love the colors. They're so beautiful and they really complement each other. It's definitely one of my favorites from today, but I'd love to know what you think. And this is it. 
I have another video here for you with tons more of fall Dollar Tree DIY crafts. I would love for you to click on it. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.